Hey guys, I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and by very, very popular demand, I am going to be reacting to. Drumroll, please. Dimash! Or is it Dimash? How do you say it? I'm sure you're gonna correct me because you guys are awesome at that. I'm thinking it's Dimash. I've looked up a few ways of pronouncing it, although I have not heard him sing before because, guys, part of the beauty of these reactions from me is that they're cold. I have not done research, I have not listened to him. I want you to get my raw, honest, genuine reaction. So for those of you who have been saying, hey, you should research this person, blah, 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 I do that intentionally. And yes, if I, if I review people multiple times, then I will get to know them thanks to you guys for telling me all about them, and I so appreciate that. But I just want you to have the most candid reaction possible without any kind of pre-selling or precursors or pre-research to what I'm actually seeing here. So I'm saying Dimash. We're gonna review Dimash right now. For all of those of you who have been requesting it over and over again in the comments, thank you so much. This is for you. We're gonna be commenting. Um, you guys are gonna be commenting, and I'm gonna be reacting to Dimash's SOS. Here we go. This is a live performance. Beautiful. I'm going to stop right there for a second. I want to note two things. Um, did you notice how he took his in-ear out? I do that all the time. I was actually just singing last night at a place and I did that same thing. Um, a lot of times people advise against that. I really like it. I like to hear the ambient noise of the room as well as the mixed controlled sound in one ear. But hearing both ears with the mixed control sound kind of makes me feel a little claust claustrophobic and out of touch with what the room, the audience is actually hearing. Um, so I, I enjoy that he did that. He really wanted to hear what they were hearing. Also side note too, his, first of all, his diction is beautiful. Um, he's not singing in English, but um, being classically trained, I really appreciate just how beautiful he rolls out his consonants through, um, through his vowels too. Like um, he doesn't, he doesn't let the consonants close off the vowels. He actually lets the vowel enhance the consonant by going towards it in a really graceful way. That was beautiful. His pitch is awesome. He's, he almost sounds like a female when he's in his um, beginning part of that song. And then when he went low, it was like, whoa, okay, you're definitely a man and you're definitely singing a low note here. Everything so far has been pristine and beautiful. I'm really impressed so far. I'm really excited to listen to more. Oh my goodness, he's definitely been classically trained. Beautiful resonation on that top note. And the range. Beautiful mix placement. Great, beautiful. He has a really nice vibrato too. It's not too fast, not too slow. Guy. That in and of itself is a really hard note to mix 
And that was not head voice. That was not like a falsetto note that he hit there. That was like a true mix between chest and head. Ah! It wasn't, ah! and it definitely wasn't bell. It was ah! forward, really thin yet stuck and locked into placement. So hard to do, okay? Not only does it take amazing technique, but it takes great courage. A lot of singers will be able to attempt that and their technique is awesome, but the reason they fall short is because in their thought life, they're thinking, kind of not gonna get it, kind of scared of it, kind of kind of don't think it's gonna sound right or come out great, kind of feel like I'm gonna crack, and then they do. The way that he executed that was like this, like a tiger pouncing on its prey, I am here and I'm gonna get that note, I'm owning that sucker, and he did. So his technique was awesome, but also the amount of courage it takes to go for that wide of a note in front of a big audience is huge. Mad props to him for that. That was awesome. That's mask, that's head voice. Great control there. Beautiful. And I will say that his placement's so great. By the way, this is, and this is the same for, for me as well, even though I'm a girl, when I sing notes in my head voice, it sounds really impressive, but secretly, you want to know a secret? That's kind of my vocal break. Not break like register break, but like I'm taking a vocal nap. It sounds really nice, but I don't have to really work hard for it. And you can see it in his face too, and in the, the relaxed way his hand is, that that's sort of where he's sort of um, taking his vocal nap right there and recharging for the next, I don't know, insane and superhuman thing that I'm sure he's about to do. Move on now. Everybody's like, what is going on here? That's easy for him. Gorgeous mix on that bottom note. As it goes lower, there's more chest that's added into that. For a girl to hit so I'm gonna say that he's an alien and he doesn't live here in this world because I don't even have to say about that like for a guy to hit that usually is a, a boy that's uh, pre-puberty and and hasn't had their voice change yet yes that's possible I wonder if he's trained all the way up through puberty like before puberty and then through it because one of the jobs that I have as a coach training younger boys through that stage is trying to keep that upper register as they are making that vocal transition. It happens for girls too, by the way, but just not as drastically as it does for that boy who has that huge break or that gap in range that they experience when they hit puberty. So I wonder, I don't know, again, don't know him, right? But I wonder if he trained during that, that phase and was able to hang on to those notes that he had when he was a boy and never lost them, or if that's just something that he was able to do after puberty. I guess I would like to ask him. So Dimash, if you want to answer my question, I would love to hear from you. And let's move on. That's that's an E above high C though, guys. Super high. Oh, love his musicality and, and the way that he's delivering everything, using his breath, using the consonants, using the breath to add emotion to it. Super powerful. That's our Yeah! Oh! Oh God! Oof! Man! Don't worry, I'll go back. I won't like ruin the whole run here, but I have to stop and say, what he just did right there was amazing. I'll tell you why. When you switch from mix to mask and slash whistle, which he's about there, okay, on this note, 
that's a really difficult thing to do because what's happening is picture a zipper, right? Picture that you're wearing a sweater and you've got two sides to the zipper. You kind of attach them both at the bottom and then you pull up, right? You've got the two sides, but they're kind of coming together like that. Mix and Mask are doing that right now as he's moving up in his range. So as he was hitting that mix note, they were like this. And as he went up higher, it zipped up beautifully without any snag in that zipper. It wasn't like uh, uh, jerky, because when you hear that, you ah, ah, like you hear like a flip versus ah, where it's smooth and complete, right? So there was no jerk in that zipper. It was completely smooth and he moved a lot like he he's doing a run right now he wasn't just going to a note so the amount of a talent b vocal control and c technique it takes to do that um execution well and healthfully is immense it's insane this guy is um he's from mars he doesn't exist here in the world we're gonna go back and listen to the whole thing so i don't interrupt it that's insane I have goosebumps! <laughs> and he moves down again. Beautiful. That guy's like, he just believed. I mean, <laughs> so okay, one of the things I really appreciated about that ending too, by the way, was that um, he, he went into this really breathy place in his head voice, but then he crescendoed into pure tone and decrescendoed back into breath again. So, that control, and then it just sort of wilts into nothing. And yet the note still sort of hangs there in silence. You can almost still hear it if you're really closing your eyes and listening. That is artistry, that's insane. So you're right, easily the best singer I've ever reviewed, maybe the best singer I will ever review. Hands down, you're the band, Dimash. You are insane. Um, something that I also didn't get to say during the review of the video, but something that I wanna say now is that within one person, this one kind of little looking guy, right? There are at least four different types of vocals that I heard. I heard a classical high whistle tone. I heard a beefy operatic upper mask. I heard a big guy like belting it out. And then I also heard this pop guy coming out with some of those breathy notes. Four singers at minimum. If I thought about it harder, I could probably come up with more, but just off the top of my head, what really is glaringly obvious as far as his musicality and dynamics and the way he's He's delivering his vocals. So many options to choose from as far as delivering your tone are concerned. And he does an amazingly artistic and beautiful job at, at seamlessly and gracefully going through all of those different vocal characters, I'll call them, of his voice. Um, that's something that's really valuable to use as a singer, you know, knowing your voice well enough to know what personality you're gonna pull out of it at different times in a song or in an album or even in a concert or in in, in a recording that you're doing if, if you're writing something original or or whatever it is to know your voice enough to know when to pull out the character that you want to make the most impactful moment that you can for the audience what an amazing job wow I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be watching this video again just so that I can see him. He was so great, um, so thank you. You guys have been like exclamation pointing his name on comments, and now I see why. I'm so sorry it took me so long, but I'm grateful, and I will be doing many, many more of Dimash. Dimash, you tell me, and I'll say it completely right the next time. But he's, a, I'm now a fan and a, a super big um, supporter of his now. He's an amazing vocalist and he does it with such wonderful technique, such great feeling. He's a great example, by the way, of someone who sings with amazing technique and the emotion does not get lost within that perfect execution. So it is possible for those of you who have been saying, yeah, but you know, it's, it's also about emotion. Yes, it is. And that's how you do it. So if you like what you've been watching, guys, if you like me, please subscribe below. Our subscribers are insane. We have gotten about a thousand a day. I'm so humbled and honored for that. So thank you so much for sharing and for spreading the word and for subscribing yourself. If you need lessons yourself, if you want to work on sounding like Dimash, I can definitely help you. And you just need to click on the link below for that. 
um, me or one of my coaches would be happy to help. Also, I'm going to be releasing an eight week course soon. And by the time you're watching this, it may already be released. So make sure you check on the, the box below for that link as well. If it's not there, that means it's not live yet. But if it is there, go ahead and click on that and check that out. That is a great baseline for learning the foundation of my methodology, which is called Sing Smarter Not Harder that I've developed over the years. And it's what my celebrity clients use to hit notes like that and to sing all over the world. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.